Hello and welcome to another Wilderness Tamed video. Um, sorry for the delay in getting back to you, I know it's been a while. Shoddy really, but I've been stupidly busy this year. Um, and the busier I get, the less time I find to get in touch with you guys and uh, keep you all updated in what's going on. So as it's a gloomy wet day, I'm not working, I've just taken the van in to be sign written up. Um, I thought I'd uh, put out another video and this one is about my green journey. How I've um, made some alterations to my day-to-day -day life and uh, specifically around the business as well. Done quite a few things to make the business as sort of green as possible. So uh, let's dive in. So one of the first things I did when I started off my business was um, think about how I can sort of reduce my environmental impact in what tools I use. And the obvious one was uh, scything which I've been doing anyway. And as you'll know, if you're a regular visitor or subscriber, uh, I do a lot of scything. Uh, and it's becoming more and more popular. Um, and I also prefer to use um, an ax to do any tree work, if I can, depending on the size of the tree, obviously. And certainly I um, will chop logs with an ax or a maul rather than use a chainsaw, um, which brings us nicely on to how I heat the house. Wood burning stove reduces the amount of reliance I have on my gas central heating. Um, so yeah, and the tools I do have, which are powered, petrol driven, uh, like I do have a chainsaw, hedge cutters and pole saw with either a, a pole saw chainsaw end or a hedge cutting end to it. Um, I do power those with steel motor mix which is uh, predominantly a plant-based fuel, pre-mixed fuel. Um, so as well as having the wood burning stove, which saves me a lot in gas central heating, um, my electricity comes from solar panels on the roof, which I had done about four years ago. There were two options when I had that done. Was One was to get a, a hot water tank in the loft, uh, which still might be something I add into the system to, again, reduce my reliance on the gas central heating system, is to have the solar panels heat uh, a hot water tank um, and there's a big battery in the loft as well which charges up and then stores excess for what I use through the, the night um, and the other option when I had to have a, um, an electric vehicle charger put on the house neither of those options I took up <laughs> kind of wish I had um, because now that I've got an electric van uh, which is a Mercedes e Vito um, I uh, had to then have um, a charger installed and there was about a fortnight delay between the charger being properly fitted up and wired up because of an electrical problem with the house and, uh, and the van arriving from Mercedes uh, so I did spend rather a lot of time uh, at a certain Swedish furniture store uh, using their charger and uh, sampling the delights of their restaurant of an evening. Um, oh yeah, I'm a cheap date. It's been said many times. So I charge that up for nothing from what's on the roof and what's in the loft. Brilliant. Very little reliance on the national grid at all. And obviously in the job I do, gardening, I create create a lot of garden waste 
um, the majority of which I compost myself on the allotment where I grow, if I can, as many of my uh, vegetables as possible throughout the year. So yeah, I tend to try, if I can, in a good year to grow um, as much fruit and veg as I can from the allotment. But failing that, uh, I will do my utmost to get to a local cafe that takes in food waste from several local supermarkets. And you can get a large grocery box for 15 of your earth pounds. Going green and, and um, uh, you know, I don't want to be too preachy, but we can all do bits and bobs of stuff in our daily lives or in our business uh, lives. Just to, you know, and it's all cumulative stuff. It's all little differences. Um, and I realise that it'll be a glacial shift, like uh, the ban on smoking or um, making drink driving unacceptable. Um, wearing seatbelts. Uh, th these were all kind of slow things to take off. So those are a few things I've done in my own little life to um, try and improve uh, the world and reduce my uh, emissions. Um, blah de blah de blah. So I hope you've found that remote, remotely useful. Um, Airbus is slightly interesting. Uh, it's been in no way amusing. Um, possibly up until that point. And um, yeah, just, you know, all you've got to do is kind of stop and think about things. Like, give a good hard look at yourself and what you're doing and uh, what you're buying and uh, the way you go about doing things and and think, ah, could I do that better? It's like any musician will tell you, they'll listen back to themselves on a on a performance and they'll always think, ah, oh, could have done that better. So live life like live life like a musician. Always strive to improve. Ooh. Gonna get that put on a t-shirt. And until the next one, I bid you farewell and um, keep it clean. Mm -hmm.